Hello, a view at Bream School. The Open the Book story has really been sad that we haven't been able to come in and do our normal Open the Book assemblies as we used to, due to COVID, of course. So, we thought we'd do something different today. We will film the Open the Book stories. And if it goes well, we'll try and give you a new film every week. So, let's get cracking. Last time, we heard how Joseph's father and 11 brothers came to live with him in Egypt so that they could have enough food to eat. Those brothers married and had many children. Those children had children and so on. Until there were thousands of Israelites in Egypt. The king of Egypt, who was called the Pharaoh, did not like this at all. He made them work as slaves for him. Many of them worked hard making bricks to build houses and palaces. So, let's open the book and read The Secret Baby. There was a basket in the water. There was a baby in the basket. The baby's big sister was watching him from the riverbank and God was watching too. Why was the basket in the water? Why was the baby in the basket? Because the baby was a Hebrew. A great, great, great grandson of Abraham, Isaac and Jacob. There are too many Israelites in Egypt, the king said to his soldier. If we are not careful, there will soon be more of them than us. So, I want you to kill every Hebrew boy. Some Hebrew mothers cried. <laughs> Some Hebrew mothers ran. But this Hebrew mother was clever. She covered a basket with tar. just so that it wouldn't sink. Then she laid her baby in the basket. And just prayed that it wouldn't cry. And she hid the basket in the reeds in the tall bulrushes near the riverbank and hoped that no one would notice. But one day someone did, and not just any someone, the daughter of the king himself. She went to the river to bathe and she spotted the basket boat. She sent her servant to fetch it out. And when she looked inside it, oh, what a surprise. The baby's big sister hid her eyes. She couldn't bear to watch. But God kept watching. He had a special plan for this baby. I don't care if this baby is a Hebrew, the king's daughter announced. I want to keep him. Coochie, 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 coo. I shall call him Moses, but I shall need a serving girl to feed him and look after him. And that's when God nudged the baby's big sister just enough so that she jumped up from where she was hiding. 
A serving woman? She shouted almost before she thought. I know a serving woman who can help you. Then fetch her straight away, girl, commanded the princess. And God just smiled. For now little Moses would be raised by his own mother, taught the Hebrew ways, and be ready for that day when God would use him to set his people free. And so Moses escaped from the cruel soldiers. Wasn't it amazing how it all worked out so well? For now he was safe, being brought up by his own mother, together with the princess. But that was God's plan for him. We'll hear all about what happens to Moses in next week's story. The story says that God had special plans for baby Moses for when he grew up. I wonder what will happen in your life as you grow up. Let's close our eyes and think about that for a moment or two. Now I'm going to say a prayer, and if you want to make it your prayer, say Amen at the end with me. Dear Heavenly Father God, thank you that even though Moses was only a little baby, you had a special plan for him. Thank you that you have a special plan for everyone. Please watch over us as we grow up. Amen. Amen. Amen.